Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, people. It is August 2nd, 2019, a Friday, and that means it's another wonderful day for basics. Here we are on OG, my god. We're on OGS where apparently no one is looking for a game except, except Abasha 3. <laughs> Nevertheless, we are going to play on here on our DDK account because it's going to be DDK Corner today. Call me psychic. But I think what we're going to do today is we're going to have a nice game one featuring nothing but direction of play and taking them big points. And then in game two, we're going to flip things a little bit and do a little bit, tiny bit of attacking. Very, very basic attacking. More of like just poking the bear and then making sure that we're fine. So I hope you enjoy these two games today. You awesome DDQs. Let's hop into game number one. All right, so got a game against a 9Q here. I'm going to just um, do a 3-4 facing and maybe enclose. Opening doesn't matter a lot as long as we're not playing anything completely. And this is how things can change. Unexpected benefit of being able to approach the widest side. So we're going to, I've mentioned this repeatedly, we're going to do it again. Uh, if we measure, this measures a certain side, this measures a certain side, this measures, measures a certain side. But because there's this 3-4 to this 3-4, suddenly this side here is much larger than 1, 2, or 3. So being able to get that in is an unexpected boon, therefore I'm approaching it. It's attaching to me, that's fine. I'll just go in Hane as you would if you attached it under here. And then I'm probably going to... Let's see, is the Tiger Mouth more basic or the solid attachment? I feel like the Tiger Mouth is, because there's a little bit less to read out if he Hanes, I can Hane back into another Tiger Mouth. I want to read out, like, does he, like, cut? Is the cut going to work in the future? No, the cut is just never going to freaking work, right? So, I, I think this is okay. If you like the attachment, do the attachment, whatever. So let's see, I anticipated maybe taking this into uh, more of an influential kind of themed game, but if he's attaching to me, letting me build, I suspect that's not really going to be the case. It's very likely I'm going to be the one building, which is especially since we see low stones like this one. So okay, I'm probably the one that's going to be building, not him. All right. That's fine. I will take my enclosure. This is a nice little light shape. I could come out, I suppose. But he didn't really Hane. I can jump out whenever I want to. So let's just go and take a little bit of a large knight kind of thing here. Influence, influence kind of matches up. You could play high if you wanted to. That's fine too. All right. So this stone, we have to ask questions about it. Here are some questions. How is it going to live? Well, it cannot get a two-space extension this way. It can't get a two-space extension this way, which means the only thing it's going to do is try to go this way. It also means I don't have to worry about playing on either of the X's and just maybe block the going out part. So, all right, what if I, what if I just cap you? Now what? Now what? You can't get a two-space... I don't think. So where, where does this go? All right. I, I guess I can surround it. Right? Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll surround then. Now what? I'm anticipating he's going to live. All right. Let's just go and do a little bit of reinforcement here. A little bit of reinforcement, just make sure he doesn't really cut through me and do crazy things like that. Like, I'm, I've got to surround his group. I think that is more than good enough, right? Now, we are pushing through here just so he doesn't, like, attach here or, like, play here and then go that one, you know? There. There we go. Maybe it's the Sente, maybe it's not. We don't even really care. Oh, he's forcing me to play that move I don't want to play. Fine. Fine, I'll play it. Now, he might have sent it here. Or maybe not. 
Um. Okay, so he's got this for territory, and he's got this for territory. So if he gets this move in, he's only getting like two, four, six extra points. That doesn't seem like very much. So here's what we're going to do instead. Let's go and play something up in here, right? Because when we ask ourselves, what is this wall doing? And it's facing like this side, this side, this side. A little bit of this side, but there's white stones down there, so not really so much. Therefore, I want to do something in here, in, in this area in general. I could try to just get influence. I might just go and play here. It seems like a decent move. Just take the large point. There you go. Let's go ahead and do it. Just take a big point. Looks like we're focusing on direction of play again today. All right. Well, ask ourselves the same question. Here we go. Uh, he can't get to space this way. He could go under my stone, though. That's dangerous. So this is possible for him to go down in there and for him to go up in here. Okay. Well, I don't think I want him going under my stone because, I mean, eh, there's no profit between these two, right? So let's make sure he can't go under and deal with things one at a time. So we'll do that. And then we'll change our tracks because, well, let's not say the reason again. I'm going to go into some nice random music here, like so. All right. Now, here's a fun fact. Check this out. This is, this is, you're going to find this fun. So if I play a stone out here, then he's sector lined, right? If I jump again, still sector lined. If I jump again, and I'm assuming he's fouled me one point jump per one point jump, he's still sector lined. So we can just start building up like all of this stuff while he's struggling to go away. But the, the key here is we need him to actually, you know, run and build stuff. So I'm going to poke him once to kind of like make him heavy. And if he ignored me, I cut through and I got the corner and the top and it's great. So now I'm going to come up here. I imagine he's going to jump and then we're going to follow. And now I've got two space here. So I'm going to poke again to kind of reinforce this kind of deal. And if we cut through, he probably dies. And then we're going to come out again. And now I don't want to be too greedy, and I don't want to make him 100% alive. And if I run him to here, he's 100% alive. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of help my corner. Take a big old area up there. If he insists on diving into that one too, like that, um, sadly, he's probably dead. Keep him out of my corner. Hey, I have territory now. If he jumps, because I've already got my wall, I unfortunately... Fortunately, get to simply go back and play here and kill him. <sighs> That's... Mm. Don't really want to kill him, though. Honestly, I don't. But... Hmm. I don't like killing people in these kind of games, but this one seems fairly obvious. Like, he's behind enemy lines. He's, he's just dead. <sighs> Tell you what. He's giving me so much, I legitimately don't have to kill him, and I'm going to show you why. Once again, I'm protecting my little shapey points. We're going to put him behind enemy lines over here. And again, I could just play this one and cap him. Or I can turn here and kill this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm going to play here just to take some more territory. He's behind enemy lines again. Note I'm diagonaling here. I'm not doing the small knight because I don't want him to cut through me and get something. Now, I don't know how he's going to live here, 
Um, I'm just going to assume he will. Somehow this will live. Let's find out how he's going to live. And by that, I mean I'm, I'm actually planning on letting him just live. For those of you who like little uh, cute things that almost never work, if I were to poke um, here, thus defending this cutting point as I've defended this cutting point, I can play here and it technically works. It almost never works. DDKs, don't try to do it ever. But on this board, if I protect both of these cutting points, then technically I can play here because if he leans against this, we're protected. And if he leans against this, I've got cuts above and below. Isn't that cute? It almost never works, but what it does, it's like, ooh. Just reinforcing myself. He can he can live there, it doesn't matter. Um bam. I'm giving away Sente just so we can find two eyes. Sure. There you go. This is my territory now, it's good. Mm-hmm. He's still he's still not alive yet. I can play here and then play there. And this still works, technically. Uh, don't want this to connect, so we're not going to do that. No. <laughs> I can't believe this move works. That is so rare, let me tell you. A lot of players try to do it. Almost never works. <laughs> Here it does. What are the odds? What are the odds? Um, make some shapey shapies. Shapey shapey. <laughs> Just making them shapies. Don't want them cutting through me. That would be a no-no. Uh, incidentally, if I poke here into a surround... It doesn't really cut through. If you can see this move here, you can envision the clamp. And if you can envision the clamp, you know we can't live. But we're going to keep our fourth line territory. This is a big corner. Ooh, big corner. Big corner. Fourth line territory across like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seriously? It's almost 30 points right there. And like maybe 30, 45. If I can get a couple more points in through here, 50. It's pretty good. Let's go get uh go ahead and take the rest of the territory over here. Moves that I'm contemplating uh, include this, this little guy over down here. I'm also contemplating just dropping him down in here. He gets a corner. That's about it. This is nice. I like it. I like it a lot. I don't want you going in here. I mean, I guess this is works, right? Is there any reason not to play this? Maybe. Let's play here instead. Two space can be kind of tricky. Let's play here. It's fine. Okay. Um. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go ahead and uh, disconnect this since he didn't connect up. I mean, he's not going to die. This is huge. It's just huge. We're just disrupting some points. That's all we're doing. Put him on the third line instead of like the fourth and whatever else. What else can we do? Let's go ahead and play here and defend against the invasion point. There we go. Technically not a move. Well, everything's technically a move. I'm just saying that one's not really a move. Because I'm defended, so we're going to ignore it. Instead, what will we do? I guess I'll prevent him from connecting up. Just end game from here on. So usually think about an end game. Think about an end game. There we go. Are where are the large points in Sente? So if I play here, it's Sente. And if you Hanes, I'm tempted to show you the counter as to why we don't Hane. That's really... He didn't get it wrong. Nice. So we're kind of poking him around, poking around, poking around. Da, na, 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 na. 
I want to go here, but if he sees this one, then he can see that he can cut through it. Same thing here, he can cut through it. All I can do really is play this one. I think everything else gets disconnected. But look at how he's low on the uh, third line here and second line. We've got like a lot of fourth. And a huge corner here. Like This isn't worth any territory really. <laughs> and it can still die if I just play this one. Uh, I, I have to admit I am positively tickled that that works. The urge to play, it's overwhelming. But yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and seal off our side. We're gonna go ahead and seal off. Um, what else can we do? I don't know, maybe here into here? It's kind of worth some territory, huh? Get some, maybe, maybe a pinch of fifth line. Go ahead and block that like so. And then something like this one. Can this group still die, you might want to ask yourself? The answer to that is yes, it can still die. Because all it really has is uh, this little guy here. You can poke at my cutting point, that's fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh huh. My cut is protected, no problems there. Can play here for a couple more points, territory. Careful! See that clamp? That clamp is me, I disconnect. So we're gonna go ahead and play here now. Hard to see it sometimes though, don't worry if you couldn't. Poke. Shoot, I need to be careful about poking him, he's gonna die. He only has the one eye right now. And no way to get another one. If I play here, he's dead. I like that one. I like that one. Threatens to go through. I like it. It's got some teeth to it. Here's a tricky move. I'm gonna turn here. That way if he hanes between my stones, double Atari. Wait, stop trying to kill him, stupid. Uh, okay. Connecting solidly. If I save the stone, I'm worried he'll die. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Um, I don't Here, I guess, maybe, huh? Because he can Hane, and then Hane seems bad for me. Hmm. I don't know. Depend, I guess, huh? But yeah, the rest of this game is over. He invaded all of the place. We could kill him. I will review how we could have killed him. But for those of you who are DDK and you couldn't quite read how that was possible, don't worry. In this game, we didn't actually have to because we made sure that we were kept getting we kept getting points and not that we were trying to murder someone wrong series not what we're doing uh here we're threatening to go under a little bit of a pokesies a little bit of a pokesies pokesies sadly that not to respond to don't i Ooh, I do, because Atari, and then cut off from them. Rip. If I play here, he plays here, force there. If I play here, he plays there, play there. Uh, looks like they're the same, so let's play here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this group isn't really all that large. Snap back. Got an eye. Mm. 
Hmm. Whatever. I number two. <laughs> Don't need them because they're connected on out, but. Let's just make sure that we're all nice and alive. No disconnects, everything's fine. Don't let them cut those off or you're dead. Um, That doesn't bother me very much. We'll go ahead and play here instead. Because he could have played the D19 one, right? And then that would have been pretty big for him. Now I'm playing here because I can Atari here and connect back. He's alive. Okay, that's fine. Poke, poke, poke. Not a lot of moves left this game. This one was larger, though. Good move. Threaten to kill. I like it. I like it. Poke on the side. He can go to Ko if he wants. I'm gonna go ahead and connect up some stuff. Okay. I'm still on fourth line. A little bit of the fifth and sixth. Mm -hmm. That's worth one point. That's worth one point. This is similarly worth one point. How did I? I thought I. I'm about to go back and watch that one in slow motion. I'm pretty certain that I have played here. In fact, I'm almost positive I saw my cursor drop the stone there. That's weird. That was weird. Was that a little bit weird? That was a little bit weird. So this was a good direction of play game. Uh, next game, we're going to also do another um, DDK game, clearly. But we're going to do a little bit more fighty. Smidge, 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 smidge. Just a smidge. If the chance presents itself, I think is what we're going to do. We'll see, we'll see. But note... Knowing we had Sente here was very, very big. Helped us a lot. Can go here and get one more point. He could make it false if he really wanted to, but I still get a point. Like, if he plays here, then I play there, and he plays there, and I have to take, once all the liberties are gone, I have to fill. But I still got the one point, which is the exact same as this. So there's no real reason to do it. And this should be counting. He passed. I passed, and I can't accept. There we go. All right, so we won by 21.5. Not a bad score. I will say thanks. And I will commence reviewing. There we go. So the question now is, what happened in this game? How did we win by 21.5? Well, I said that we were probably going to um, enclose or something. Then we identified that he gave us this amazing little guy, which makes the side a little bit more, because third line to third line, rather than fourth to fourth or fourth to third. Well, essentially fourth. So it's worth a little bit more, so we approach to contest the largest side of the board. Makes sense. Great. In fact, by playing here, here's a fun fact. If we look at this, it's 11 lines, right? And if we were to look here, isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? It's like we're taking an extra corner for ourselves almost. That's how wide this is. Isn't that crazy? It's huge. It's huge. So we played it, and he gave us influence, so we said okay. Uh, this would technically be the 
this is technically the uh, Giseki. And then from here, I'd probably just play this one. He gets some stuff. I get some stuff. Not bad. Not bad. I like. I like. So essentially, uh, this is expected. Then he played there. Still got our enclosure. Now from here it was simple. Figure out the easiest way for them to live and take it away. That's pretty much what we're doing here. Easiest way for them to live is to come out. Right? So yeah. Uh, so yeah, we figured it was to run away and we block the running away. That simple. Now we have to try to get life here. Okay. Remember, remember, Go is called the surrounding game, right? So, that's what we're doing. We're surrounding. And surrounding. And surrounding. But note, note we have Sente now. He should play away. At this point, or at least this point, you should play away and do something like up here or something. Because even if I play here and here, oops, give me that sound back. There's really no way to kill him, right? Like, how do I, how do I, how do I, how do I kill? It's just not, it's just not possible, right? So he's alive. Therefore, he had Sunday. Great, he had Sente. Cool. Fantastic. But he didn't know that. He gave it to me. I got a huge, huge, huge point. He invaded again. Keep him from running away. Or from going under and getting a base. Making just making him heavy. And out he goes. And out he goes. And out he goes. And I, uh, I do wanna, I do wanna point this out. I do wanna point this out. I, I will later. No, I'll do it now. Will I do it now? Yeah. Technically, because we've got this available, we got a Mei cutting point there. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Oh man. Ouch. That's that's an ouch. This unfortunately is dead. Um, had we played here, there is no way for him to get a base and nowhere to run to. Therefore, this is dead. Therefore, this is just dead. Like, if he tries to play this way or something, there's where is he going to go? Where is he going to go? This? There's just nowhere to run to. My core is already fine. Do you drop down again? Just poke. Nothing there, right? Just nothing there. Not a single solitary uh, eye shape he can possibly get for himself. So yeah, this is by far dead. Same thing. He's behind enemy lines with no way to get out or a base. So he's dead. Over and over again he's dead. Now this is also dead. All we have to do is make sure we know how he's going to try to get a base. Or try to get an eye. Right? Which is probably up here. This is probably how he's going to try to do it. So as long as we play a move like this one... I don't think he can really live. So here he's probably dead again. Gotta be careful about jumping into those enclosed spaces. Like maybe you can run, maybe you can get away, but as we saw here, even if he ran, and even if he got away, he just lost the game again, because then he just couldn't deal with the other side of it. It is a game of whack-a-mole. And I think that's really about the end of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you played here, 
we take Hane. That's Ko, so it connects. That threatens to kill. And there's an I. Because if he plays here, it got an I there. And if he throws in like so, then we just do this one. If he plays here, we have an I there. If he tries to falsify it, we extend. Or take, it doesn't really matter in this case. But yeah, nice, easily alive. So good on him for knowing that one. But yeah, I think that's it. I think that is it. Yeah, that was the end of that. So hope you enjoyed this game. Let's jump into the next one. All right, we've got ourselves a game against the 12 Q. I will say hello to this fine individual. We are white this time, and he opened up with three four points. All righty then. I will take double four four. He's got two three four. Seems fine with me. Um, he's got the enclosure, so we'll approach the three four because corner, side, center. Um, mmm, DDK, Joseki, what do we do? Mmm, mmm, what do we do? What do we do? I think we're gonna go old school. So first we do is we jump out. So we don't want to, you know, be risk being surrounded, things like that. I usually go with this large knight here in normal games. But a lot of those variations aren't that simple, which is kind of annoying. So we're probably going old school for simplicity on this one. Gonna go play here. After he plays the Hane, I would normally jump out again, but I'm gonna draw back this time. To keep things nice and simple. And here's a general idea of what we're, what we're planning while he's thinking about his moves. Um, I anticipate to get something like this one, and then there's a question after I jump out to here is what does he do? Either he's going to fix this, in which case we're going to go wrap ourselves around his corner, or he's going to not let us do that, and instead we're going to use our wall, which wants to do stuff in this direction, and probably just play a pincer somewhere around in here to attack the stone. Very lightly. Those are the general ideas behind it. He played here. Like I said, we're coming out. He did this one, so we're going to pincer. Just like I said. Now, this is a little bit more of an attack. That's okay. He did a diagonal out, which is actually proper from the 12Q. Curious. All right, he's attacking my shape. Um... Now, I'm going to play here really quickly to see what he does. Okay, he played there. I'm still out. I'm going to fix my shape like so, and we're just going to be A-OK. -okay. I'm, I'm on the fence, though, aren't I? I'm like, kind of like right here. It's kind of not really behind enemy lines, unless you say maybe that's the one and not that one. So tell you what, let's just jump out again. Now you cannot in any way say I'm behind enemy lines. Now you could say, but you didn't have to do that, and you are right. But do you know why you don't have to do that? If you looked at this position and said, you don't have to do that because you've still got a move here or a move here to give yourself a nice perfect base, congratulations, you are right. You did have Senta here for that reason, but the jump out is okay. Rude. Um, if he drops down, there's a potential of a tombstone. I'm gonna play here though. It's a it's a little bit simpler. They might be saying, but can't he go? And I would say that's a good question. That's a good question. If he does try to come out though, like if I go here and he cuts me, I'm just gonna fall back to here and then just get him in like a little netsy woodles. He can take my one stone, but 
look it up. Put a strength on the outside. It's fine. It's fine. No problem. So that was he gonna do. He is going through me. I'll go ahead and block. <coughs> Okie dokie. Now I'm gonna be a little bit confused. Uh We connect. What's going on here? Like the cut here doesn't work, right? We the Tari straight down. I mean, that does that doesn't do anything. So what's the goal here? If he was gonna push, and he should have gone ahead and cut me, right? Okay, I mean that that works now because he can play here, and I can't Atari. So I should probably play here instead, but or here. That one's kind of cool. Ah, let's play here. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Sorry. Scratch my ear. <clears throat> what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? For those of you who are interested in such things, I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna redo uh, some of my prices on uh, my merchandise stuff once I upload a few new things. I wasn't aware that I had the default price on some of them. Sorry about that. Want to cut through me? Table to the rescue. You see how we go for shape? Ooh. I'm not buying me lines anymore. Corner side center. So let's go and do um mini mini. Which one's wider? Crap, they're the exact same distance. Uh, it doesn't matter. Whatever, it doesn't matter then. They're equidistant from, from here. So it makes that easier, I guess. But you see how we didn't... That wasn't really that difficult. I bet you've always been afraid of, like... Ooh, what if I... What if... Can I really pincer from a wall? Like, you can. We're not behind enemy lines here, so we're fine. I'm gonna just... I could pincer. I could see a reason to pincer here. I'm gonna build up this area, yeah? Hmm. Hmm. But we kind of did the whole influence thing last game. Let's at least play for territory. A little bit of a roundabout. A little bit of a 180. Now, we do corner side center. This is a side, this is a side, this is a side. Uh, most we can do here and here is like a two-space extension. Ugh. Big deal, right? Like, blech. Don't like it. Whatever. We could extend here, though, a little bit more than two spaces, and it applies pressure on the two stones. So that's cool. So essentially, we, we kind of look for this, right? If we extend here, we've got, like, here or here, right? The question is, like, how many reasons do we have to play there? Well, we've got... One reason is to extend, right? One reason is to extend. We're not attacking anything. Here, we have one reason to extend and two reasons for a potential follow-up attack. So one reason for the top, one reason for the bottom, two reasons for the left-hand side. So pretty easy to find uh, which way is better. This guy, man. He plays a lot of a lot of good a lot of correct moves. Some not so correct, but he's playing a lot of correct moves. Not sure if he's really a 12Q. This might be a slightly less than DDK basics. Notice I'm not just jumping, I'm uh, doing horse face here. Cause his group hasn't jumped yet. And this gives us the added benefit, even though we're not trying to kill him, of shape. See that? Rather than just a one-point jump, we got ourselves some shape. Because this is alive, right? We have like an eye here and eye the side, so we don't really care. So I'll just go and, you know, Hane. Twice, the head of two and three stones. See what happens. Maybe something, maybe nothing. We don't really care. We have shape here and we have shape here. And because we have that shape, we can play things like this. Isn't that cool? 
Ladev goes to me. If we read out the ladder real quick, it goes from here. Real quick introduction on how to read ladders. You go down one, and then diagonal. And now of those, if there is a stone, um, essentially diagonal of those two, so here, or here, or here, right? If there are stones on the diagonal, then the ladder doesn't work for the person who has the stone on... No, sorry. It works for the person who has the stone on the diagonal. So, like, if there's a black stone on any of these points, this would not work. This just wouldn't work. Um, good bet is to take that we have to worry about ladder breakers and things like that later on. <laughs> so here's something fun. Remember when I said there were two reasons on the left-hand side? Now, one reason we did, but he hasn't covered up that second one. So here's what we're going to do. Check this out. We're going to play here really quickly just to strengthen our little group preferably in Sentai, just like so. There's a cut point that works right now. Gave ourselves that much more. And now we're going to go back and take the other point. Like I said, there were two reasons for it. And once we were nice and Sentai, I'm taking the other one. Dun, 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 bum, bum. Now we're not going to try to kill. We're just connecting back and taking some Primo points. Ooh. Some prime Colombian points. So what do we do now? Righto. Now what? There's a cutting point here. He has to defend it. He might not want to, but he has to. Oh, as we hunt it here and the whole thing dies. Now, if you're worried about maybe the top group, you could do things like just make sure we have Sente here. I wouldn't because ordinarily I'd be trying to think about, hey, if I play here and then like here and then maybe this one, can I kill him? Eh, who cares? Let's just go ahead and poke at his shape point. Don't want him to kill a stone, so I'm going to play this one. And then I'm going to play here. Just to absolutely 100% make sure we're fine here. 100%. Okay. Um, hmm. What do we do now? We have our territory on the left. We have a territory on the right. We have some territory on top. He's got the upper right, which is not bad. I can threaten to poke here. Make a cut. He began reading how to kill him. Oh my god, it's reflexive. Okay, so what I read in a, in a second is that if I Hane here and then double Hane here, now that I have this, it connects back, and the wall here cuts this group off, so it gets kind of troubling. Let's go ahead and extend out, though. You can play it if you want to. We're actually a... Oh... No. So this I'll teach you how to kill, because you're not you don't live back in here. This will be taught how to kill. So if you play here, he gets this one, this one, this one, and then it's Ko. Darn. So I'm gonna play here instead. Oh, this is complicated. But it, he deserves it. You don't live back in here. Is there any other way to kill this? Here, 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 here. No, then it's a co. Uh, <laughs> He's gonna force a complicated thing on me. Grr. Grr. 
Sucker. Well, that's annoying. Fine. I can't bring myself to play it because it's going to get really complicated and I am playing a DDK one, so I'm going to play here. I'll show the other one in review. Didn't he just kill himself? He did. I can play here now and make sure he doesn't live. Instead, this, does, this is supposed to go to Ko, so we're just going to go to Ko. Unless he Hane's here, then I'm going to kill him. We'll go over the variation uh, in review. If he needs to drop straight down, then it's Ko. Alright, instead he's just dead. Hane here, and then we throw in at B1. And now he's dead. Mm -hmm. And now we play here. There's Mi if he plays here, we Atari. If he plays here, we Atari. So it's fine. This is a very, very basic corner situation. He could have tried to go for um, Ko. Could have tried Ko. Another Typother? Another what? Un I don't know what he said. He said A N O space T Y P O T H E R. Ano. I I know type there. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry, dude. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Kind of strange, kind of strange, kind of strange. Apparently the AI likes the move I just played. Oh, it wanted me to play it here now, not the jump up. Oh, well, too bad. Deal with it. I played it. All right. So let's review the game. Let's review the game. He played wide aside, yeah, yeah, yeah. So normally I I prefer playing this one. I'm just I'm just a fan. I know the AI is, and I don't I couldn't care less. Uh, usually I play this one, this one, this one, into this one, because I, I think it's just simple. I think it's an easy influence versus territory variation, so I I use it. This is fine. Very old school. Jumping out here is okay. We could also play something like this one because this isn't really that much of a threat. But this one's a lot more basic, I would say. We pincer, he comes, he diagonals up, which is actually really, really good. And also really, really doesn't work. Because you can only do this variation if this move was over here. And the reason for that is because... Um, um, if I play here, the idea is he can't allow me to connect, right? He can like lean on here and to, and lie, and run me to here, right? But the problem here is this is now Sente because he can't let me cut through here, otherwise everything dies, right? So if this is Sente, then oops, hello. If this is Sente, suddenly it doesn't work, right? Because we connect regardless. So that's kind of not good. Instead, he probably needed to play here in light of the fact that he played this way. Just to ensure that I can't uh, do anything about it. But the danger here is I surround him now. So S2 is just kind of greedy. He should be playing... P2 instead of S2. S2 shouldn't be on the field. He plays there, that's fine. We just jumped out, whatevs. We do have Sente now, that's true. And yeah, ideally we would attack, that's true. But we just jumped out because, you know, sector lines were making sure. So, you know, whatever. This, I don't understand why he played this. This is just strange, because he couldn't cut, right? Got ourselves some shape, enclosure, another enclosure. Now he needs to play something like this one, 
if he wants to play this way. And then we've got to figure out what we want to do about this little guy. We probably invade it almost immediately. It's, it's really tough to play. Not sure how he really settles this. He could just jump out now, and then when, he, when I come in here, just do this, but uh, I get more out of here, so it's, it seems bad. It seems bad. He jumped, we defended. Now you might ask yourself, could you extend again? Yeah, you could have. You could, easy. Easily. Because he's almost completely surrounded, so he can't. he's not going to be playing a lot of really complicated variations, is he? He's not going to be like trying to kill me constantly because he just winds up getting killed. So he plays here. Again, he really needs something. I don't care what, but anything in here to defend. Since he didn't defend, we were just like, okay. I'm gonna come in then. Let's see. Here we could Hane again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then here's this. Ugh. So we could technically play here. It's annoying. If he plays this way, there's just no way to live. So he's probably going to play here, and then we throw in. Because again, there's no way to live. So he's going to try to do this one. And as long as this doesn't work, and it doesn't, then we're fine. Because you can see this doesn't work, and this doesn't work, and then even if he tries to kill us, we can go back and capture him. But I felt like that required a lot of reading. So I avoided it. Because we're so strong in the area, we can do things like this pretty easily, right? There's just nowhere to go. There's just nowhere to go. Um, same thing here. If we play here and he plays this one, we play this one. Same thing. Nothing he can do in there. But there was no way that was DDQ level. So I'm like, you know what? Fine, we'll go to we'll go to the co variation. If he plays, if he plays here, we'll just go into co and then we'll talk about co threats. And I kind of really want to talk about co threats, believe it or not, because I want to go back and point out. Let's see what's a co threat for him. Um, there, co threat. There. I really want to talk about some co-threats, like, this is huge, subtle one, but it's huge because I can kill the corner. So boom, co-threat. What else can we do? Forget the actual co, forget the actual co, let's look, up, let's look for co-threats. Um, 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 this one looks like one, but we wouldn't play it because then... It gives him one into two. So he gets one more. He gets the co threat right back. So it's kind of like a uh, not a good co threat. So we wouldn't play that one. Um, this could be a good co threat. Uh, this could be a good co threat. Because it's threatening to live, right? Getting this thing would be really, really big. Oh my god, the end game involved there. Who? Yeah, who cares about this, right? Take it and live. We got your corner back, so fine and dandy. He played here instead. Now, he could play here. We play this one. He plays this one. And then this is the cut again, right? So he played here. This is a very classic kill uh, shape. We Hane, he throws in. And then he's dead. Easy peasy. So, hope you enjoyed today's Q Corner. We got to look at a game where there was pretty much just direction of play. 
just direction, nothing but direction. And then we got this game, which featured a little bit of fighting, a, a tiny smidge of the basic idea of just attacking those stones too close to your wall. That is, we got shape. We kept looking at sector lines over and over and over again to make certain that we were safe. We watched our cut points to make sure we couldn't try to do anything weird to us. Kept getting shape. And then once we had sente, we took large point. So, hope you enjoyed both of these two games today. As always, I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.